Hi, we are the Kabas. I'm Linda Kaba. I'm a banker by profession and uh, a founder, a co-founder of uh, Church on the Move, a Christian-based page or rather foundation that is determined to grow people in the Lord, to encourage, to strengthen and grow people in the Lord. So we do daily preachings either doing Bible study or preachings all throughout the day so that we can keep you encouraged. We've been together, we've been married for almost three years now. We're getting on to the three years now. And uh, we've been together for five years. Yes. Yeah, I'm uh, Simon Kaba, the husband to Linda Kaba. And um, I can say at, at, at the moment, I do run uh, good fundi services where I, I own, I own the company. And uh, basically that's what I do, it's my daily run. And on the side, I help onto the platform of Church on the Move. I share my ideas because I'm an experienced marketer by profession and a sales guru by experience. Neither of us admits who saw the other first, but um, he was uh, coming into this church that I was serving in, uh, in the praise and worship team, to run a project with the church. So he got invited for the Sunday service that day. So when he came in, being on the platform, you see everyone that is coming in for the service. So yeah, I saw him. But... Uh, we didn't get to talking to a while later when we started talking through Facebook and basically that's where we started talking through Facebook and then a while later we exchanged contacts and then here we are. Yeah, I used to see her but I had not noticed her before. <laughs> I used to see her, I, 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 I used to meet at um, the church office. Okay, we are crossing paths. Now since I've been given a project by the church, operating from the church office, I could see a lady up by the altar, praising and worship. You know, those people you see there and say, okay, I don't know what for you. Yeah. So, but later after a while, when uh, I saw her in Facebook, you know, um, F Facebook shares the people you might know, especially if now a couple of friends have, uh, you have a mutual interaction with them, so she popped up like, ah, I've seen this, this girl on, in, in church, she's the one on the prayer and worship. So I decided, let, 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 let me check her background and see who she is and where does she do her things apart from the church. It's when I saw that she was also visiting KU where I used to like going for swimming while I was doing my undergrad. Then from there, it's when I asked for contacts and uh, we started chatting, chatting, chatting. Yeah, now we are here. <laughs> I wasn't fully convinced that he was the one I was waiting for. So we'd set up a date and I would, I would just cancel at the last minute. One thing I like about him is that he's patient, by the way. He waited until, yeah, I finally decided, why don't I just hear him out, you know? And uh, yeah, we met. Um, on an evening, a Thursday evening, after work, he came to town. He was working outside town, rather, in Mombasa. And uh, I was in Mombasa town. So he made the trip to Mombasa town. And yeah, so when we sat and I listened to him talk, truth be told, everything changed. Like my perspective changed. I was like, okay, this is someone that has actually has something to offer and yeah. That's how it started. For me, I really needed uh, a break from all the dates and everything. <laughs> I wanted somebody who's serious and, uh, well, also it's tired about, you know, like, you know, let us date for five years and see how it goes, then in between you're like, no, I don't like the way you chill, you know, I don't, so, I was like, I'm not interested into that, I really want to, you know what, 
from what I've been brought up knowing, and this now how the plans have to go about marriage. Once you have made a decision, take it, let the ball start rolling. So once we sat and she accepted, I was not like, now what, what have I asked for? I was like, I'd set my mind. Immediately she says yes, I'll take her to her next hotel because I'd already set my mind. <laughs> I'll take her now to a, to a two-star, first of all. So that if she says no, I'm safe. If she says yes, now we have great to, <laughs> to the four-star that I took her later. I was like, okay, so I, she, she said yes. I, I actually told her, because we're, we're in Mombasa, there's no, there is, it's not much of an Uber or anything. Like, to talk here, we get in a tuk-tuk, we go now to a quiet place now so that we can discuss deeper into these issues. Because, I, because after trying several times to have moments with her, just a date and they all failed. Now, g given this chance, this one date, I really wanted to maximize on it. So that once the evening ends, we part ways, I know I've really maximized on my evening. I've let the cut out of the basket and everything is peupe, black and white. Then I knew if she says yes, and she said yes, I was like, okay, now I'm confident. I just took, I, I just, I just took her to the next hotel and told her, you know what? Now is the time you tell your parents. I tell my parents. <laughs> Dating for the purpose of marriage, you have to know what you want. You're not going in for a trial and error experience. For us, marriage had to work. Individually, it was a goal for me as much as it was a goal for him. So you have to have your own goal. What are you getting into marriage for? Are you getting into marriage with the fear of walking out of it? Because the thing is, whatever you feed your mind with, that's what comes out in reality. Even the Bible says that as a man thinketh, so is he so yeah you have to get know what you want in marriage what are you looking for there will be many suitors along the way but what differentiates them from who you're going to marry is what you already have in your mind as a list this is what i want my husband to be like bring it down to the exact body shape if that's what you want you know so that when someone else comes along and you're checking your list you're like uh-uh who you doesn't fit it it's not don't get into marriage because you are wowed at the moment because then that's what gets people like along the way you're like this is not what i expected but if you know what you expect and you're looking for what you expect then marriage on this side will be blissful yeah, to the guys I like to say, and also it reflects a lot to the ladies, yeah, is that have your mind made up. Not just like, I really want to get married, but you're not sure, especially with who do you want to get married to. You're not sure because now they are, there's a cross or whatever. If you are sure, yes, it has to be a human being, two-legged, you know, has to be of this height, now that you are sure of. And is my time right at the moment? Not about anything else, but it's at this moment that I'm plan, I'm, I'm going for, for a date. De date is not a point where you go just to have a wow moment, you know, like, ah, let's date for three, two years and see how it goes, you know. It's not that way. It's like, I want to marry. Excuse me, I really want to see how we can go this towards the aisle. Not in between, like, you know, I'm, I'm not sure I really want to get, but I really want just to see who you are. At the end of the day, you're wasting each other's time. True. But if you've made up your mind, like, you know, like, I really want to settle down. I really want to find a lady. I really want to find a man. So this man has to be this way, as she has said. This lady has to be this way. It's not that I get and see a person A, then I'm like, wow. I can try. Let me go out to date with this person. Then a person B comes in like, you know, this person A is missing something in person B. You know, they, I, I, I usually express this funny joke to my friends. I tell them, you know what, the day you decide to get married, it's like God has just handed you Pick, you pick your best and you you go away. But you, after you have just picked, he, he, ask, he, he, he again asks you, have you seen these ones? You're like, wow, is it possible I can return and, and, and exchange? And exchange for, no, it's not that. Once you pick, you tell God, okay, even if I see another Beyonce or whoever comes in, ah, Rihanna, no, I've chosen my uh, my lady. She has to be that way. My mind, I have to, I have to make up this mind is that it's her. 
and nothing else can change me from that decision. The wedding was fun, I can say to you the wedding was fun. I usually even say it was one of the easiest weddings I've, I've seen because I was, I was participating in it, actually participating. <laughs> yeah, because she took all the credit. I was there, you know, I was even told, you, got, you come, stand, smile, and you know, photos are very key to this. Yeah, photos are very key. I, I, I really enjoyed the wedding. From planning and everything, the promoters, everyone who came, it was just a wow. Yeah, it was really lovely. It was beautiful. Um, wow. Uh, I had heard this before, that we put so much stress on ourselves the days before the wedding, and then it's just a one-day event. But looking back, it was worth it. It was worth the stress. It was worth the, some of the sleepless nights, you know, because it's your day. You get to enjoy your day. You get to see yourself in a different way, in a way that you'll only get to see yourself once hopefully in your entire year, in your entire life. And uh, that was the beauty of it. It was a beach wedding like I'd always dreamed of, a girl can dream. And uh, yeah, it was beautiful. I, 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 we thank God. We do. Actually, we have faced ups and downs in our marriage. We have really had, uh, sometimes we, we, we had huge commotions. Stayed long, even not talking to each other. <laughs> it happened. No, it happens. It happened to us. Not that I'm saying that it happens to others. Also to us, it happened. We stayed long. I mean, we were like, what did I make? What choice did I make now? Is it possible, God, why? Why after all this while now should I? Is it the right time to, to just exit and and just leave this stress because it's a point where you are tested is get, get, getting into marriage the same way as somebody gets money. The trueness of you is ex, is exploited and expressed. People when they get money, once you get into marriage, now your realness is is, is exposed. So it's, it's from where I knew, I started knowing my weaknesses and all that, the ups and downs were there. We, 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 we have had our shares of fights, sometimes we don't talk. But through these fights and everything, we had rules because we know that in everything that we have to stand by, we have to have rules. We all have our freedoms in this country, but we have rules which are binding us so that even if you siku umelalanja, you know that you can ufai kunyonga mtu ndio upate pesa. It will be stealing the same way. Even if we have our own walls, our place of residence should be our home. Because I understand the meaning of home is a place where you are treated well and you complain the most. That's the best definition of home. Or the place where you are, you are no matter what time you come, you love just to be accepted in. Even if somebody has a new name or what not, it has just to be a home. So all through these fights and all that, we have had instances where it was really, really bad, but we thank God because we have had mentors all through. Mentors who are keeping us on check. The minute we pick phone calls and call them, you know, the, the, there's a difference between where you find that we cannot call somebody because we have our own pride, like, you know what? Ah, yeah, I mean, you, the Mbona Mbamimi, you know. But after all, you're, you're like, if I just throw up my hands and let, her, or let, let it be, you find at the end of the day, it becomes, you have not solved anything. But the minute I call and ask, you know what, we need help. None of us have been married before. No, I need help. You know what, I don't know what I've done. I know what I've done. And I think I'm right. You know those points you say, I'm, actually I think I'm right. Yes, she has messed up, I think I'm right now. She really, have, she really has to hear from my side. I, have, I, I need an audience. But later you find that marriage is the way Christ gave a good example. It's not the way we copy from friends and we copy from our parents. You know, it's the way Christ actually, Christ loved the church. Despite the church, as the word says, the church did not know him because knowing has a different meaning. Knowing there's that intimate part, good communication and actually the physical knowing. But you find that Christ, the church did not know him as, as perceived. The same way all through we are getting to, know, to, to say it's to know each other. Yeah. So, 
marriage is where you are tested, the real testing. Watu wanasemaa kuna majaribu ya shetani huko kwingine. Sometimes <laughs> kwa marriage iko. Mm-hmm. Wow, well, um like he said marriage has ups and downs. Yeah. Um I remember when we had come to Nairobi we used to live in Mombasa. So when we'd come to Nairobi to pick up the gown and some of the stuff that would be needed for the wedding, we also had to go by his office, his head office here. And that was like maybe three weeks to the wedding. And then when we get, we get there, he's being given, a, he's being fired. Yeah, so it was tough, you know, you're getting into marriage, it's not what you had envisioned. You had not envisioned you guys would have would go through this. So for our first year, it was really, really tough financially. And like he said, it's being tested. Are you able to stand with the one you say you love when uh, when you're going through financial crisis? You know, when you have to wait on something that you really want at that specific time. You know, and yeah. And if we pulled through that, <laughs> it was a good way to start so that years later we know how to refer to it if, God forbid, something of the sort ever happens again. But it's a learning place. You're allowed to make mistakes in marriage. Because unlike dating, when you're in marriage and you make a mistake, there's a point of correction. There's a point of coming back from it. There's a point of growing from the mistake. Because if you're dating and you're like no i can't deal with this right now and you live but in marriage you're not living you're here and you're here to stay and so you grow with the mistakes you learn from the mistakes they build you and they help you pull up other people that are coming behind you with it so yeah marriage works what i can say is that marriage does work marriage works and marriage is beautiful but chemistry is not what makes marriage work. We might have had maybe, everyone thinks they have chemistry when they're getting into marriage, but that is not what will sustain the marriage. Work is what sustains the marriage. You have to work at it. You have to put his interests above your own or her interests above your own. And that is just working, you know, constantly working, every day working, because marriage doesn't drive itself. Yeah. okay the beauty in marriage yeah um yeah like i said marriage is beautiful but the thing is you have as much as we are talking about making marriage work as much as we're saying that marriage is work we're not talking about the perspective of a workplace you know a workplace you have to be professional you have to be doing you have set rules of what you should do throughout the day yes we have set rules in marriages but we have to make marriage fun People are the best of themselves when they are having fun. And it is in fun times where we create friends and we create relationships that last, you know? So have fun with your husband, have fun with your wife, be a friend to your husband or to your wife. And that is what makes marriage beautiful. That is what lasts. Because you know, we have kept friendships from when we were young. I have a childhood friend, you know, and that is what we are looking for in marriage. You know, a friendship that will last, an intimate friendship that will last. So, yeah, make it a fun place to be in. Make your home a fun place. Develop a sense of humor. Develop stuff that you can do together so that you build each other together. Yeah. Yeah, on the side of... Uh the best marriage is said to be of two two servers, not two masters and not no two leaders. Because if if your marriage is each one is serving each other, you'll find that it's the good example they give of a, either a cycle tire or a cycle pedaling, whether it's an up and down. This one serves the other when it's up, this one serves the other way when it's down. It's the same case in marriage. But once you come in in, in marriage when all of you are like leaders everyone is a, this one is a Hitler, this one is a Charlie Chaplin or something else. You find that there will always be a commotion. This one wants their way, this one wants their way. 
But once everybody serves, you know, when you serve, like the good example we are given with Christ, you are serving, you are serving by washing the disciples' feet. It's the point where now is trying to say, yes, I'm who I am, I'm Simon Kaba, who I am. She is who she is. She is a banker, yes, she can come in, you know what? I'm a banker, you know, I can give you advice about finances. I said, no, I'm Simon, I'm a marketer, you know, I can come in and give you about marketing. But the point where I can sit down and listen, yes, tell me, share about what banking is. It's not that I don't want to listen so that I give you mine, or she doesn't want to listen so that she gives me hers. We are not serving. But in marriage is where I'm told I need to serve her. She needs to serve me. It's not a point where we have been brought up knowing that the man now, yendi wa kisema, nafanyika. But the point where I really need to go down as a man, be like Christ, take the passion, nifunge tawel kwa kiuno, washa, serve her. Because if I serve her, you know I'm serving myself. Understand in marriage. If I'm serving my wife, I'm serving myself. If the wife is serving the husband, is serving himself, herself. Because at the end of the day, if I serve, I won't appear or nobody will know who's lesser. Everyone will see like, you know, you're the man and you're all unafua. I thought it's the other way around. When do you want men and pick them like, you know, it's the other way around. But at the end of the day, each house has their way of, you need to serve your wife differently than the way. The way I serve my wife, it cannot appear the same as another person serves his or her wife or her husband. So marriage is basically on serving. We have been brought to understand that serving is the key thing in every relationship. Once you serve, there's no boss. Everybody mm -hmm. likes to, to, to work at a place where even the boss treats the lady who mobs the same way as the deputy. Because at the end of the day, the person feels valued. When, when you serve somebody, they feel valued. If I come to, if, if, I, if I get home and find my wife, she, she's in bed or she's not feeling okay, I treat her well, you know, she'll feel like, oh, actually, I'm valued. But the minute you, 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 could, you could see some instances where we, we are being brought up, mtoto kiona baba kule kwa gate, game imeisha hapo, shua kwa drisha, and get bedroom the same way with wife, ah, mzeni ule, chua, chua, because they have known now Simba mefika, which is not the, it's not the case at this moment. So once a husband knows how to serve the wife, automatically the wife will serve. Now, now the submission comes in. You don't need to force it. It yep. will come automatically. The, the same way, if we are, actually, the Bible tells us we need to lay our lives down for our wives. That means we need to serve. But people see that, you know, the man is the head. They forget prior to those verses, it says that we are all equal. But now the, 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 the other preceding verses, it, it's now it now start, it starts breaking it down. But the tree does not break down from the, um, from the fruits, you understand? The root place where it started is that kuwa, you, we are all equal, then after that the man, the man has to lay down, then the wife has to submit, because automatically, if I serve her, she will serve me. And they go extra mile, they become submissive. You, d you don't need to come there with a, with a macho man, so that to pick you a chaya subui. Very Linda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just call you sugar. You know, I love sugar. Mm -hmm. Can't take you without sugar. <laughs> it gives me the taste. It makes me love it. Mm -hmm. That's why I love you, sweetie. That's why I call you sugar. You're my all in all. Yeah, you take my breath away. I just admire you, feel you daily. In my mind, I picture you as I pictured you the first day. Mm -hmm. Such a wow, such a wonderful woman. Thank you for loving me. I love you. I love you too. Okay. okay. Baby, you're still the man who takes my breath away. You're still the one I want to spend the rest of my life with. It's a decision I made. It's a goal I have and I will keep to be your wife and the mother of your children for as long as the Lord keeps us here. I love you, I treasure you, I honor you, I value you, and it will be like so for always. I love you.